starting from the 50-50. So we each have a collar grip, an elbow or sleeve grip. All right. I'm going to focus, like if I have the elbow here, I'm usually going to switch the sleeve before I move forward, all right, for the arm bar. So as we're in the situation, just for the basic variation, I just want to get a little bit of a push into him to get some resistance back. And if my right hand is the one on the lapel, it's going to be my right foot that comes across, okay? Like that. And now I'm going to fall in. So I'm going to face that direction. And then I fall in. I'm going to keep him framed out with my shin and with my posting of the bell grip. Alright? This is also going to help feed the head towards the leg. So we're here falling right into the arm bar. And in this situation, sometimes we finish right here. Other times we roll him over. Right here. Just don't forget, pull it through. And when I hit the knees, that kind of car. So, we'll both have the lapel, the elbow, I'm going to switch to the sleeve before I go, so I have a longer range of leverage, and once again, I'm just pushing a little bit, get a little resistance back from that resistance, I'm going to bring my leg up, just place it against the hip around the bell line, hop in, and then just sit down, bring out the hip and the shoulder, Bring the leg around and bite the neck. Put the knee bits. The knee's going to just hold it out. And bites. You can I shrink down. I'm on my hip and my shoulder. But now I have to free the space. Now the only reason why I wouldn't really roll him on his back is because when he's supposed to be pulling in, he takes like a base step so that he doesn't get rolled. Right? And then we end up just following through with the hip pressure. Uh, from the guard. So I might go here, creating some resistance. I step, and he just doesn't want to get rolled, so he's got this fighting base. We end up being here. And finish like that. Okay? So it's really going to depend on his base as to whether he gets rolled or not. In my mind, I'm rolling him. But a lot of times, we'll get that extra little foot base where they stay strong in the feet. So the legs coming around, and we're almost rolling him at the same time. But if he catches himself, you just keep the hip pressure. So one thing that's important is that I'm not trying to get into the arm bar position and finish the arm bar with the hips. Just like we talked about in the guard, the hips are aggressively moving into the arm bar. So do the base step for me again. So as I go here, the hips are up and ready to go as the legs coming around the head. I'm not lazy here. The hips are up. So by the time we're here, it's already immediate pressure. Right? So don't have lazy hips. Make sure your hips are shooting up. Even though your body's moving down, your hips are always shooting up into position. If they're not, I'm going to pull his arm out. What's that? If they're not shooting up, if they're not engaged, so they're going to pull his arm out. Yeah, it'll be easier for him to get his elbow loose. And it'll be hard for me to create leverage, of course. Ideally, I have a fully extended arm, my hips up, and my shoulders in the mat. So here we'll do uh, the roll this time. So here, like all the way through. The roll would just look like that. And this is like my anchor. This pulls me right up into position. And then I can pull through and let go. And get the finish. So I should keep my grips. Until I'm ready for that final, Boom. right? So keep the grips until the very end. That's going to help me, based on what he does, follow through with him. And then when I'm ready for the finish, I can let go of the lapel and get the finish.